What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jame, and today we are playing Mono Green Stompy featuring Defiler Vigor and Silverback Elder. This is a two mana triple green 5 7 that says whenever you cast a creature spell, choose one, destroy an artifact or enchantment, which is very valuable in the standard right now. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a land from among them onto the battlefield tapped. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. We're probably not going to be using that one unless we have a bunch of huge creatures in our hand and we want to play both of them in the same turn in the following turn. But we can also gain four life. That is also super valuable. I saw this deck actually on Cover Code Blue's channel and I thought it was awesome and I wanted to play it. So we're going to showcase it for you today. We have a lot of card advantage in the form of Augur of Autumn. We can make our spells cheaper with Cemetery Prowler. We can also make our lands into 3-3s three with Land of Our Lone Speaker. Also ramps a lot as well. So this deck does a lot of ramping into turn 5 for Silverback Elder and Defiler Vigor. And also puts a really fast clock on our opponents by uh, growing Gatalic Readers, growing all of our creatures with Defiler Vigor. Jewel Thief is a really good card as well that ramps us and provides a Vigilance 3-3. Three three. Uh, also, Topiary Stomper isn't... Um, isn't very uh, small either. This is a big, chunky 4-4 to attack with. We have four Crystal Grottos here to spry. We have two Besejus and 19 Forests to play around with as well. Also, Ascendant Pack Leader gets bigger when we cast our 5-drops. Uh, also, if we have a 5-drop already on the board, Ascendant Pack Leader gets bigger as well. So, our team is going to get humongous. If you do play Best of 3, we do have a sideboard here as well. We have a, a few Tail Swipes for... The aggro matchups, Outland Liberator for uh, decks playing enchantments and artifacts. We have Bouncer's Beat down here. We have one in our main deck, but here in our sideboard, it costs two less to target a black permanent, and it's really, really good if you do. It's a one mana instant, and it deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control, and if that creature or planeswalker would die, exile it instead. So just an amazing card against black decks. We have a Halpack Piper if your opponent's playing a lot of counter spells, like against the mono blue tempo matchup. This card's really good. Uh, also, Avabrak Caretaker, if you're playing against a control matchup, maybe like an Orzhov midrange or Esper midrange deck that happens to want to destroy all of our stuff, we can play Avabrak Caretaker and all of our stuff gets hexproof. And also Titan of Industry here because we're going to be ramping anyway, and it's the best green card to ramp into by far. Anyway, we're going to be playing this as best of one today, but if you do play best of three, there's a sideboard here as well. Let's get into the matches. If you're here for the first time, you're new here, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to get this channel even bigger than it, than it already is. I appreciate every single one of you. Also, like the video so we can reach this video to more people. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into the matches, and it all starts right now. All right, I think I put back the Algor on them because of cutdown. Another Jewel Thief. I mean, I already have a lot of ramp here, so I think I'm just going to keep it. Better than drawing a land. Whoa, is it a mirror match? Well, I'm glad I'm on this side of the mirror. And I also drew the bouncer's beatdown, which is good. So, can we go Elder into something else next turn? I don't think so. Oh, they're playing a Rochi Merge Keeper. Land? That's good. We can't go Elder into anything else, but we can go Jewel Thief into Bouncer's Beatdown. I kind of want to save my Bouncer's Beatdown for their Defiler or Silverback, but the problem with that is, is we can't actually kill those, right? Because Elder has seven, 7 Toughness and this has 5 Power, and Defiler has 6 Toughness and this has 5 Power. So what's better for us? Probably best just to play the Elder and hope they don't go nuts on their turn here.
So if they have Defiler, it's going to be really bad for us. If they have, like, an Elder, it'll be bad for us. Alright, well, that's not either one of them. Like, I guess they could still have it, right? They have five mana right now. Wait. But they would... Oh, they're playing Storm the Festival. Wow. Well, it makes sense that they're playing a Roji Merch Keeper, though. They got a Quiron Beast Color Ascendant Pack Leader. Well, that's good for us. They paid six mana to get three mana worth of cards. Alright, the problem is we currently don't have the Exile card for this. So what do we do now? They have four, five. They have four, five, six, seven mana available next turn. Are we using Bouncer's Beatdown on anything? We're going to go Land. We're going to go Jewel Thief. Silverback Elder is going to destroy an artifact or enchantment, I think. That's going to make a thing. We can land our Lone Speaker a land to attack with. And also hold up Bouncer's Beatdown. Because we don't need all of our lands right now. And if they try to double or triple block Silverback Elder, we have the Bouncer's Beatdown. Perfect, 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 perfect. They're not going to see this coming. Oh my goodness. They didn't see it coming, did they? No, they did not. We just won't have another Storm the Festival. They have a Ren and Seven. Now they have a 5-5. Five, five. I need to draw some creatures. Silverback Elder doesn't really do much anymore. Besides, like, gain life, I guess. That is a bad card to draw. Very bad. Am I trading Silverback Elder with the 5-5? Five, five? I guess we'll scry first to find out if I want to do that. Ooh, Ogre Bottom. I mean, technically I can kill Ren in 7. Not really. No, I can't. Well, I guess they can... I can't, I can't actually kill it, but I can make it block with everything. I'm just going to do this. And they can double block with the tree and the Gallagher Readers on my Silverback Elder, but then I get to get rid of the tree. Because I can't really deal with the tree if they play a single other land. Yeah, it seems like they are not going to kill my Silverback Elder because they don't want to lose their tree. But that's also okay with me, since eating a thief is fine. Because if they want to save Ren, they have to block with everything else. They have to go like, Gallic Readers block, block my thief. Yeah, so they're just going to lose Ren. These situations are all good for me. I mean, keeping the tree alive is not good for me, but... Yep, now it's 6-6. Six, six. Now I have no out. We have to go over the top of it. They have their own Jewel Thief. They have Orochi Merge Keeper for one mana. Gallic Readers makes a treasure. Jewel Thief makes a treasure. Lone Speaker makes a mana. So they can they can cast this Sword of Festival next turn, so I'm going to need to be careful here. 
I'm gonna go full control, I think. Actually, it doesn't work like that. Um, let's destroy this. And hopefully I get some good cards off the top. Ooh, pack leader. That works. Let's go full control. Cast the pack leader. The reason why I go full control here is because I want to see the top of my deck before I decide what I want to do. There's an elder on top, so I think I don't want to look at the five, top five cards. I would want to destroy this. And then I'm just going to pass, I think, with the goal of trying to get to Defiler of Vigor and go that way. It's a land on the top, which is going to play the land for turn. Another Elder. Unfortunately, if they draw a single other untapped land, they get to cast on the festival out of the graveyard. Not like we have a choice, though, right? Ooh, there's Defiler. Well, that's good for us. Alright, I can attack with Pack Leader. No, I can't, because they have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, we have to hope they don't draw land, right? I mean, they're, they're, they drew a Jewel Thief. Okay, this is good for us. Because we have card advantage and they don't currently. Let's go ahead and cast a Filer. Put a counter on Pack Leader. Silverback Elder is going to destroy Artifact or Enchantments. It's going to gain 4 life. Pack Leader gets to get a plus 1 plus 1 counter. We get to cast the Loam Speaker with the Fowler Vigor mana, putting full control on, so we can see the top card of our deck before we decide. All right, taking full control off because we have another another Loam Speaker here. We're going. I don't even know if we need full control, but I don't trust Arena sometimes. We're gonna gain four life. We're gonna gain four life again. Oh my goodness! Full control on again because I don't trust Arena. Uh, here we go, Defiler of Vigor. Hey. We have a Stomper on top. Can we cast Stomper with the mana we currently have? I don't, I don't mind drawing a Stomper anyway. Let's go! Oh my goodness, are we going to get Ascendant Path Leader against Mono Blue again? This is like the win condition against that deck. These lands are so good. What? Where are these lands from? Or are they the new ones? Ledger Shredder. These lands look so good. Unfortunately, I don't want to cast three spell two spells in the same turn. Let's they probably have a removal spell or a counter spell. Let's just go Stomper here because it can't attack. And because the I like these more. Unfortunately, I still can't freaking attack because Ledger Shredder is a 1-3 for some reason. Untapped is currently not recording, correct? Unfortunately. Hadijin, are we just dead? We'll go land Gallag Readers, since they could have. Okay, they don't have a counter spell.
I guess we're gonna use we're gonna give the letter shredder a thing here. They're going to counter my Gallic Raiders. Sure. I guess because they did that, it gave their Hadi Jin one more power, so we couldn't attack. Oh, God. We're super dead. No counter spell. Which Gallic Raiders is this? Oh, that one, okay. We have a Silverback Elder on top? Still can't attack. What's up, Ivans? Ledger Shredder? Yikes. At least we're gonna gain some life with Gallic Raiders eventually. We're definitely going to put 1-1 one -one counters on him again, so we can, like, attack with the Gallic Raiders. Oh my. There's a Prowler on top, but we don't have Coven. Guess we're just going with Silverback? We're put a counter on this and then gain life with the other one? No, we're going to make a treasure token so we can cast Prowler plus Augur of Autumn next turn, I think. Alright, and then hopefully they can't kill us. Hopefully they just have a handful of creatures. The way we can die is if they have, like, exactly Thirst for Discovery and discard a, a couple of instants, and then they can get their Hottie Gen to 5 power each. So Thirst for Discovery is by far the worst card for them to have for us. So we'll see if they have, like, anything relevant. The good thing for us, though, is that we get to gain a bunch of life with Silverback Elder plus double Gallagher Readers. Or maybe they can, like, cast a, a couple spells and try to get get there with Ledger Shredders. We have to hope they don't have a Bounce spell, too. They're attacking with Ledger Shredder because they're probably not blocking with them. Because all of our creatures are 3 toughness or greater. Our opponent is having a real, a real tough time deciding what they want to do. They decide to do nothing. There's an Augur Bottom on the top of the deck. Oh, Cemetery Prowler can actually reduce the power of Hottie Jin, which is pretty hot, no pun intended. Let's go ahead and cast this for card advantage. Ooh, Defiler. Uh, we're going to gain four life. And we'll save this Defiler for next turn. I'm thinking about if they want to counter this or not. Oh, wow, they sacrificed a Ledger Shredder. Well, that's pretty good for us. Now we get to Prowler. Gain four more life. They get to trigger that, but that doesn't really matter unless they just drew a counter spell right now. They, they have negate in hand. Let's make a treasure off the first one. And then let's grow the second one. And then we're going to exile a... Urtai Scorn, so we can make this 3 power instead of 4. And we can attack him with just like this Gallag Raiders. We can attack him with Silverback Elder also, but I kind of don't feel like losing the gain 4 life every turn. But if we trade Silverback Elder with Hadi Jin, that's like fine for me, I think.
since we have Defiler plus Augur next turn. And then Gallagreeters, our other Gallagreeters is going to get to attack next turn, and also our Ascendant Pack Leader is going to get to attack next turn too, because it's going to get a plus one, plus one counter on it from casting Defiler of Vigor. And I'm okay with Silverback trading with Hottie Jin. Double block. What? Opponent just going to two. And scooping. Hey, Tin, thanks for the thanks for the uh, the sub. I appreciate that. Let's go with this. Our opponent is very aroused right now. I think I'm going to block with my pack leader, honestly. Oh, they're playing green mana? Of course they would play infinite red one drops and just magically draw their green source. In a block like this. You played Ronnie Torjog like five times today? I wish I could play against Mono Green five Mono Red five times today. Cemetery Prowler plus Pack Leader. Like, Prowler can't exile a creature at the moment. We gotta do what we gotta do. We'll have Pack Leader block Kumano again, I guess. And then cast Silverback Elder, and hopefully they can't deal with that. Query on Beast Caller, that's fine. Beast Caller is a, a card that we could play in our deck, but we're just not. Topiary Stomper, it's a good one. Cast the Elder, buff the Pack Leader. Play with fire in my face. Let's go right to the top. I think I'll trade here. Have we just been running mono green today? Yes. Alright, what does the opponent have? I like the spot that we're in unless we just get burned to death. Thundering Raiju. Wow, best possible. At least we have the Silverback Elder that can block. Oh, they're gonna give counter to Phoenix Chick and sacrifice the Raiju to kill us in um to kill us in like four more turns. We have to we have to kill them before they kill us.
They're thinking about attacking with something else to give the Phoenix Chick the counters when Queer Envy's Collar dies. Which would also suck for us since we don't have Reach and we don't also don't have a removal spell. They're going to deal us burn damage with Thundering Raiju also, which probably means... 8 damage. Okay, we're going to go to 5. This is not looking good for us. We can gain a bunch of life though. Oh, that's that's a perfect draw. So let's go with Stomper. Gain life. Get a land. Play a land. Castle Loam Speaker. Gain life. Attack with Prowler. I guess I could have attacked with Prowler first to make them less mana, but... And I could have used Loam Speaker to give a, have a 3-3 attacker. So I'm going to need to draw creatures from now on. Oh my goodness, it's Chevin Devastator. Oh, oh geez. Talk about really good draws. Wait, are they punting? They might have just killed themselves. Do I have 14 damage? Jewel Thief. That's a creature. I'm actually going to look at the top 5 and get a land because that means our Topiary Stomper can attack. We got the Crystal Grotto which also gets to scry us into another creature. And then we get to use Loam Speaker to have a, a land become a 3-3. Three, three. Then we can use Loam Speaker to have a land become a 3-3. Three, three. And then we can attack for game. Let's freaking go. We'll keep this one. Pack Leader? So we go turn two, Gallic Readers, turn three, Cemetery Prowler, turn four, Prowler plus Pack Leader. That seems like not good enough, right? Kind of want to draw a monkey. Companion. Not the matchup we want to see. I'm going to go Lone Speaker here and then make a treasure with Gallic Readers. Because we can cast double Prowler next turn because of it. Fable. Ow. Or we can just cast one Elder. I like Elder. And then we will put a 1 1 counter on this. Because we can cast Prowler next turn with the land drop anyway. Now we have to hope they don't have borrowed time, right? Or like... Whoa, four cup Leyline Binding. That's unfortunate. Alright, can I get another monkey? I'm gonna go no blocks here. 
Four colors with basic lands. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know why they're saying oops. So weird to me. Is it because, like, they got rid of my Silverback Elder before I could cast creatures into it? Maybe I shouldn't have cast a Prowler because I could I could draw another monkey. If I draw another monkey, I can actually get rid of the, the Leyline Binding or the Reflection. Sure. Ah, uh, wow. It actually happened. I top decked the monkey. Monkey S. Maybe they're trying to say nice the whole time. I don't know about that one. Unfortunately, it might have like Titan of Industry plus Reflection lined up next turn, and that would really suck. Yep, they could definitely have it. Ooh, they don't have it. Well, that, that has to be good for me. They can Reflection the Spirited Companion to draw a card? Okay. Maybe they're looking for another Leyland Binding for the Silverback Elder? They scooped it up. Let's go. Alright, that is a Rafine's Tower. Oh, there's the land. Sometimes lucky. That wasn't too lucky. Oh, just the deck we want to play against. Not really. We have a Gallic Raiders here. It might get cut down. It might not. Let's see what our opponent decides to do and see if they want to play Rafine or something here or Kaido. That's a Liliana of the Veil. That's probably going to minus and get rid of our Gallic Raiders, unfortunately. But what's good for us is they probably have a Wandering Emperor next turn, so let's go ahead and get one of our two Vigilance creatures out here. We're going to go Cemetery Prowler, I think, because it can exile our Gallic Raiders that makes our Defiler Vigor cost less mana. Um, we could also play Jewel Thief that also makes a Treasure Token that guarantees the cast of Vigor, just in case Cemetery Prowler dies. They both have Vigilance, so I guess I think I'm just going to go with Jewel Thief. Because uh, it like almost guarantees the 5-drop, whereas if they kill Cemetery Prowler with an Infernal Grasp, it doesn't actually guarantee it. So, we're going to go with this. And if they discard a card from our hand, we're going to discard one of these forests because we don't need that anymore. Drop it. That is an Elspeth Resplendent. Opponent's playing Value Town. Alright, that is a Trampler. 
Um, let's see, what are we going to do here? Well, we can't exactly cast Defiler, Vigor, and Gallagher Eaters, right? So what are we going to do? We could attack the Liliana and they block and then we can Cemetery Prowler. Gallagher Eaters plus Cemetery Prowler make a treasure. Okay, I think I like that. Plus Liliana goes to one anyway. It's kind of unfortunate, but I think we're doing it. I don't know what I'm going to discard, though. Like, which one do I discard? Defiler or Silverback? Like, they both aren't very good against Wandering Emperor. Ooh, that's not a Wandering Emperor, though. It's a Soren the Mirthless. Well, Silverback Elder doesn't doesn't have Trample, so I guess that means we should cast Defiler. I'm tired of your secrets. And they don't have many artifacts and enchantments. Okay, we'll keep Defiler then. They said oops for some reason. Discarding destroy evil. Interesting. Also, Defiler makes it easier to cast something if we do draw another creature. That's a Shield Red. Ooh. So we can cast it, right? Defiler comes down. We're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Gallagher Eaters. We're going to cast Cemetery Prowler for... One green mana. Cemetery Prowler triggers. Gallagher Eaters triggers. We're going to create a tap treasure token. We're going to exile... I guess it doesn't really matter... We'll exile a Gallagher Eaters from our graveyard to make our creatures even cheaper. And then we are going... Well, Liliana doesn't really matter anymore. I guess it does, because I don't, I don't really want it to minus. So let's just go ahead and do this. And... Cemetery Power is going to trigger again. I guess we don't have any Planeswalkers, so let's... Uh, uh, let's get rid of another creature. Did I reach Mystic with this deck? No, I did not. I reached Mystic with the five-color Enigmatic Incarnation deck in Explorer. Because that deck is very good. If you haven't if you haven't gone to my channel and clicked on the five-color Enigmatic list in Explorer, you should definitely check it out. It's really, really good. Another creature doesn't add to the discount. Does it not add to the discount? Maybe I'm just tripping here. Maybe it doesn't add to the discount. Unfortunately, we drew a land. Which we will not be messing around with. Let's do this. Kill the Sorin. Go after them. We are going to exile um, Liliana and destroy evil, I guess. So we're not quite... They're not quite dead if they play Shieldred. But we also just drew a land last turn. And I really hope to not draw a land again. And they also killed our poor Defiler of Vigor, unfortunately. Augur of Autumn, that's a really nice one. That's a very nice one, actually. It gives us Coven right away. So hopefully we get something off the top. Yes! Here we go. Oh my gosh, we're playing against someone named Your Death. That can't be good, right? Weaver of Harmony? That's scary. We're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on it this time. Because we have the Jewel Thief to ramp us, and let's go ahead and attack. Because if they have a if they have any land any untapped land plus a removal spell they can remove or they can use removal spell twice which is unfortunate exactly the two mana enchantment removal spell hopefully they don't have that they don't have it which is good for us all right let's go ahead and play our land we want to cast silverback elder right now. 
We probably do, right? Well, no, no, actually, that's not true. I think I like going Gallagreeters plus Jewel Thief. You know, thanks for the subscribe for 14 months in a row. I appreciate that. Uh, let's make a treasure token. Because we get to make two treasures. And then we're going to go Silverback Elder into Ascendant Pack Leader. This is going to get a plus one, plus one counter from having a four or greater mana value creature on the board. And then we're going to kill Borrowed Time and get our and uh, get our um, Gallic Readers back. Or we'll just kill the Weaver of Harmony, whatever we're scared, whatever we're scared um, about the most. That's an Igonjo. Leyline Binding. Oh my goodness. Opponent is going nuts. It's okay. We're going to be able to kill the Leyline Binding as well with our Silverback Elder. Good thing the creatures we have on board right now aren't, like, necessarily amazing. Prowler. Here we go. So let's go ahead and destroy an artifact or enchantment. We'll destroy this one. And we will make a treasure token. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. We get all of our stuff back and they scoop it up! Let's go! Monkey is serving us right. Ooh, mono blue. Alright, Ascendant Pack Leader might just win us the whole game if they don't have like a bounce ball right now. Um, I think they have Slip Out the Back. It's like almost a guaranteed Slip Out the Back since they didn't use consider they didn't use the bounce spell and they also didn't use the they had a stop there so it's probably slip out the back let's go ahead and make them use their counter spell here this is probably make disappear or syncopate i'm happy they used essence scatter and not those other cards because they didn't use Make Disappear or Syncopate there, it means that they don't have them in their hand, which is better for me, since they'll top deck those when we have a lot of mana. I, I like playing Jewel Thief here because it gives us mana to pay for their um, counter spells. Thirst for Discovery. Well, that's really good for us. They discard a basic island. And then hopefully they don't go, hopefully they don't go untap land, hottie gin, land, hottie gin, and hold up a counter spell. That's like the worst possible for us, I think. They didn't have hottie gin, so they scooped. This hand isn't very rampy, but it has pack leader on turn one. Ooh, that's exactly what I want to see when I have a pack leader. Nevo, thanks for the follow. Ooh, Gallic Readers. We take those. Uh, do we get in with the pack leader? I actually don't think we do. Turn one Delver is definitely just the nuts in mono blue. A lot of times when you play Delver in mono blue coming from experience, you just never draw the Delver. I kind of want to save Bouncer's Beatdown for when I don't have to, like, tap out for it. I don't even think I want to play Silverback Elder. Let's just put a 1-1 counter on Gallic Readers and start attacking. And see if they block. They do not block, which is good for us. Getting these creatures down early is what we need to do to win the game. So we're already in a pretty good spot, because the only way that Mono Blue can deal with these creatures is bouncing them back to the hand. Oh, wow. This is pretty tough for us.
We're going to get to kill the Hadi Jin if they block with it. They don't block with it, unfortunately. Which means we might die to the Hadi Jin. Because they're probably going to have a counter spell for our Silverback Elder, and then we're probably going to die. They're using Consider now, so they're probably going to try to race us with the Hadi Jin. Well, I'm glad they had to land on top, so it's not an extra. That's a Delver. Okay, we get to use the Bouncer Speed down here. It did not attack. Let's go ahead and use the Bouncer's Beat down now. Because it could have, like, Negate or whatever. Negate or... They just let it go? Right now, I think I'm going to cast Silverback Elder to just, like, make them counter it. Or I could just cast Topiary Stomper, just in case... I mean... Because they didn't counter that, they might actually just have Thirst for Discovery or just a creature counter spell. Let's play Stomper. It plays around their counter, let's say, pay two card, and also gives us the mana with Gal with Gallag Readers. To play Silverback Elder through the same card next turn. And also, if we draw a land, we get to attack with Topiary Stomper anyway. No attacks. That's a land. That's what we needed. Another Elder. Okay, so we can freely we can freely cast this. It grows the Pack Leader. They probably counter this with Essence Scatter. They don't have Essence Scatter. What? What do they have? Back in with Topiary Stomper. Might just be Fading Hope? Maybe. They want to doubly decrease their stuff in hand? Let's see what they got. Gain 4 life or look at the top 5 to put a land in play? Probably gain life. So they don't just kill us randomly. They got goth, that's what? <laughs> yeah, it's probably make it probably make disappear, right? Put a 1-1 counter on Galagreer so we can start attacking with it. 4 power, 4 power, 4 power, 5 power. They probably just die here? Unless they have like a couple bounce spells? Yeah, they die. Alright, Jammers, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this deck with me. It was absolutely amazing check out the deck list in the description if you're watching this from my personal youtube channel also if you're watching this from coolstuffinc.com's channel give me a subscribe if you would like to follow my standard best of one and explore best of three content on my own personal youtube channel the one jame on youtube also give this channel a subscribe if you want to see more content and you like this on this channel and also leave this a like to reach this to more people thanks for hanging out and as always i'll see you in the next one peace